Here come the Live Oak Acorns on their home field taking on Menlo. The Acorns in charge early. Direct snap to Adrian Rogers who strolls in 7-0 Live Oak. Menlo looking to come back but the ball is stripped by Luke Ritchie and the Acorns are in business once again. Second quarter handed to Josh Gagne who takes it in and Live Oak has a 14-0 first half lead. Later in the second quarter though Willis Johnson gets the ball. And Willis running well all night long for Menlo. A big gain right there. And that leads to the Knights' first score of the game. It's Jack Freehill taking it in. And it's 14-7. Live Oak still in the lead. But the Knights tie it before the half. It's Willis taking it in. Another tough run for Johnson. And it's 14-all. Second half now in a tie game. Mikey McGrath rolling out and hitting Harry House, who gets a foot down for a first down. Later, same drive ball right at the goal line, and McGrath sneaks it in. Menlo overcomes a 14-0 deficit to take a 21-14 lead. Back come the Acorns. Luke Newell rolling out, finding Christian Haug, who hits the pylon, and we're tied at 21 all. Fourth quarter, six minutes to play. Again, it's Newell to Haug, and Live Oak retakes the lead 28-21. Back and forth we go. Menlo drive again. McGrath takes it to the one. The Knights score from there to make it 28-27, but the extra point is blocked, and the Acorns have a one-point lead with two minutes to play. Desperation time for the Knights. Menlo tries the onside kick, and the Knights' Jamie Ferrese recovers it for Menlo. Now Menlo driving, and this guy was huge all night. Willis Johnson, a big gain right there. It helps set up this 20-yard field goal attempt for the win, and it is good. Andre Gonzalez Lombero very excited as the Menlo Knights survive in a thriller. The Knights to play Christopher at home next Saturday. I'm Robert Bronstein. And I'm Aubrey Tolliver. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back every Sunday night. And watch us every Sunday night at 6 and 10 p.m. on NBC Sports California. We'll see you at the games.